following years of inaction by the car manufacturer Ford, Vera Stein and Gwen Davis joined all their fellow machinists on two strikes at their Dagenham factory. They demanded equal skill recognition and therefore equal pay to their male colleagues. Their first strike in 1968 made history by garnering political support for the 1970 Equal Pay Act. But it was not until 1984 that the women finally won their own battle for equality. I mean, being on a B grade, which was semi-skilled, plus a man working on B grade was classed pay differently to you. I mean, their alone was unfair, wasn't yeah, it? That's right. I mean, yeah. if we'd been paid the same as the man on our grade, mm. most probably we wouldn't have protested so yeah, much. That's right. Yeah. But I mean, when you've done two years' experience before you even get a job, mm. you expect to be classed as skilled, right. don't yeah, you? Yeah. Mm. So that's what made us start protesting against. And of course, our union reps were very good. And every year they put in oh, for the wage all, claim, and very good, every year was yeah. turned down. Mm. So in that photograph, you can see that one year we said, that's enough. And our union said, well, you've got to do something about it. Mm. You've got to down tools, or otherwise you're not going to get what you want. So we decided at Straight a meeting. Straight away we done that, didn't we? We never even bothered to, to say to the management, oh, we're going to have a meeting, but we had a meeting. And then we decided down to all straight away and we walked out. And we all walked out. That was it, wasn't it? Um, we weren't really advised to pick it outside the door, uh, the gates then, 68, we, were we? Um, we were doing all the talks with talking, the union in right. their offices, yeah, the, the other plus one. Yeah. going by coach yeah. down to different, uh, different venues. Yeah, yeah. Um, they said that's the best way to protest, go to union meetings mm -hmm. and, you know, protest at these different places because mm -hmm. the unions were having a big talk down in Weymouth That's weren't right. they yeah yeah and it was a general talk and then of course they were talking about us wanting grading mm -hmm. uh, equal pay and all the rest of it and they were very much against it very much against oh, it yeah. weren't they yeah. the unions were this one particular man this <laughs> one particular <laughs> man like the film said it was true he was against it was true he yeah. was all f he was all for the bosses for Fords. He was all for them, wasn't he? Mm. And of course, our supervisors and superintendent, he, they wouldn't have it, would they? No. Oh, no, no. They said, well, you've got to go down there, pick it, and you've got to put your own views across and convince them mm. that women should have equal pay with the men. With, that's right. In the end, yeah. I think that the man that was really against us, the union rep, they made him feel so embarrassed about it, didn't yes, they? Yeah, yeah. And then he had to talk up for us, but he didn't want to at first, didn't did want he? To. No, 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 no. It was really, I mean, in the end, they were desperate, weren't they, to get us well, back to work? This is a, you know, it was going on and on, wasn't it? Mm. Well, we were determined, we were determined not, to, not go to go back, back to work. It Nobody was... in the other parts of Fords could have gone and done a machinist job. They couldn't. There was nobody to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had other women working in different departments, but they couldn't have sat down at the machine and machine no, because they, they were doing different different things mm -hmm. to us, weren't they? And they could never have hired other staff to come in no. and do it because that would have really been against the union's rules. Mm -hmm. Hale would joined us, didn't they? They joined, yeah. They would actually, the women were doing the same as we were, making seats. Mm -hmm. You see, because otherwise, if they hadn't come out, Fords could have got them to make our seats, couldn't they? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And then we wouldn't have got anywhere. <laughs> we yeah. only went out for three weeks, mm. but the first week didn't count. I mean, the men were working the first week, That's weren't right, they? they were. Because they had a stockpile of car seats. So, of course, they the firm was still running. They didn't miss us the first week because they still had plenty of seats. <laughs> but it was come to the second week, the stock was really dwindling. And of so course, by the third week, there was nothing left. That's and right. they couldn't sell a car without a seat. <laughs> so, of course, that's when they started talking with Barbara Castle. And they had the rep from America. He came over and he said, well, something's got to be done, didn't mm -hmm. he? And this is how it come about. They offered us 7p an hour more to go back to work. And they would really consider uh, giving us equal pay with the men. We wanted the proper grading to go with our work, didn't That's we? It, yeah. Which was skilled work, mm. um, machinist classes, skilled That's workers. It, yeah. 
plus the grading and the money that would have come with it, mm. which was a higher grade. And that's what we went out in 84 for. Well, that's when, when we, we picketed it a lot, didn't we? We really picket. Yes. We used to have nights, groups. Of, nights as well, mm. nights and days. Mm. We stood outside. But funny enough, uh, some, of, <laughs> some of the men helped us. They used to get the Bits lorry drivers. Wood. Lorry drivers used to get this wood break it all up by running over it in the road, you know? <laughs> Put on the curb, breaking the wood so we could have fires, you know? Because it was cold. So, oh. well, so really, a lot of them, you know, I suppose a lot of them thought, well, we're entitled to go on strike. They must have done, because oh, they yes, were all right yes. with us, weren't they? Yes. You got the few that I know on television, you, when they were, I watched it, and there was the the men, the younger ones then, I don't mean the younger ones, they was having a go about us, oh. <laughs> well, you should have been at home, a mother and a housewife. A housewife, you shouldn't be out working. <laughs> what was the key strategy of picketing? Like, well, why so picket nobody home? could get through the gates to pick up work, to take out for someone else to make up. That was the idea, yeah, wasn't it? Them. Because if lorries were allowed in the plant, yeah. mm. they could have picked up all the work that was already there that hadn't been made up, mm. and they could have taken it to any factory where there was machinists, couldn't That's they? It, yeah. And had it made up. So that was the idea. Nothing moved from the plant. No. no. Oh, yes, they wouldn't cross the picket line. Oh, no. 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 That was one rule that the yeah. unions really were very, very staunch mm. about, weren't they? You never Nobody cross the tried. picket line. No, not what I was no. doing. No, I don't think anybody ever did. No. No. Well, you would have been really cast out, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, no. we've spoken to lots and lots of groups of women, haven't yeah. we? Mm. Different women from all over the country. Yeah. I mean, one lot were bread makers, the others were candlestick makers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they'd all been fighting for their own rights and they'd never got anywhere. But as we all said, you've got to have a very strong union behind you've you. You've all got to stick together, haven't yes, you? Yes, and you've got to... If you don't, you've mm. had it. If one person says no, then it's a failure, isn't That's it? it yeah. You had to get everybody behind you. Mm, mm. you know, it's no good just one or two walking out, mm. is it? We need the whole firm. You're no, not like us. Half we were more powerful then, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, there were so. I mean, mm. there's so many women, which is unusual in mm. one job. Like, I mean, I was always in dressmaking, but they're only small places, you know. You Did you all have it. a union at the time? No, no. Did, there was no mm. unions no, in no. dressmaking or anything like that. They were small places. Yes, it wasn't mm. big like Ford, no. you know. No, we were just very strong. And it, yeah. our unions were very strong. Mm. Mm. Without them, we couldn't have got anywhere. Oh, no. And that is honest because they were they were very powerful, oh, weren't yeah, they? Oh, they were. 